Welcome back everybody, welcome back to World of Thanks. Now today, as promised, I'm going to play with old dogs. KV5 and Love are fairly old dogs actually. They are really, really, really old dogs. Some say they are obsolete. Well, they are kind of right. Because nowadays, uh, thanks, nowadays metagame, if I can say metagame about it, what is happening over here with tanks is completely 100% different. Oh, yeah. Completely 100% different that we had back in the days. Like, uh, guys, if you see tier jet vehicle uh, with your tier 8 heavy tank, don't cry. Because back in the days, I was able to face a mouse tank in my Tiger 1, which is tier 7. Yeah. And uh, one of the biggest problems uh, I remember uh, on KV-5 or with KV-5 uh, was the penetration. 167 penetration uh, on tier 8 premium heavy tank. It is something you get on tier freaking 6 medium tank. Or something. But still I'm going to use uh, standard shells. Please do not back into me, back up into me. Ah! Just a tiny little bit more. Oh, side, side of the turret, nice. Uh, so thanks to the penetration you have to carry, nowadays you have to carry, carry quite a lot of uh, premium shells because we have super tough tanks over here. For example, like that KV-4. That I cannot penetrate reliably with my standard AP rounds. I'm quite, quite 100% sure. Didn't penetrate or scratch them. Whatever. T49 is going in. Here comes the boom. Turp gun activated. Oh, Bulldog. Yes, please. I believe I'm able to penetrate this guy. About uh, 300 average damage is actually quite decent with that rate of fire. You can see 7.23 second reload time. 300 average damage. So TPM is actually pretty decent. Nope. That one bounced the renode. And armor is pretty tough as well. The only thing you have to look out is uh, R2D2. This is that frontal machine gunner, uh, machine gunner turret. This one over here, easily penetratable. Okay. Can I shoot anything, please? Please, anything? Oh, pull dog, pull dog, pull dog. Yes, please. Nice. Oh, and on fire. One, two, three, kill. T55. Can I see those guys? I think I can. Oh yes, I can. So let me test. Gave you four. Yeah, side armor under 90, 90 degrees of angle, and that won't take go through. So this is the problem with um, standard AP rounds. But still, I haven't used any of them in this game, which is actually tier nine battle. Okay, so they have no DDs. That means. They have no campers besides one artillery, I think. And T55A has to use premium shots as well to be able to pen me easily. Boom kill! Ah, critical hit! I did hit the gun and just the gun. Oh, you lucky scrubberino. Oh, hello. No fires though. And he got away. Now why are you running away? I don't know. I don't know why this guy's running away. But uh, let's let's chase him down. In KV freaking 5. <laughs> I bounced two shots from him. Two shots from him. So. Easy life over here. Do I really have to chase you down? Seems like I have to do that. Nope, no 
pen. Arty missed. Thankfully, artillery missed, so actually I'm able to deal more damage. No, why you're running away, man? Why you do this to me? I'm playing a freaking KV5 and you're running away. This is not cool, bro. This is this is some kind of I don't know what. Yeah, thanks to that they didn't get any more damage done. But uh, 2100 is still pretty nice, I think. I don't know. With standard AP rounds. And no APC are used. So it is kind kind of decent. Yeah, third by damage done. I don't know. Uh, KV5 is pretty like ballsy tank. It is tough tank, but. Uh, it doesn't fit into the game anymore. I think I would say that this tank is obsolete. Uh, it is it is simply old. It needs some love from Wargaming, but Wargaming is not selling this tank anymore. Well, they are selling this tank, but only uh, while we have some kind of special event going on, like Christmas events or Advent Calendar or something like that. They are selling KV5 uh, in uh, those events. But uh, you can't buy this regularly, so I believe they're not going to do anything with it because Yeah, it is collectorish tank from now on, but uh, its penetration needs some love at least Boost it up to 175 and I would be happy Because brim shots 219 I can't live with that and that's why you have to carry a lot of premium shots just to make things equal when you're fighting versus uh, tier 9s, uh, versus nowadays tier 8s and tier 9s, you need more than 167. This is the key thing over here. Game has changed a lot. Like, like, game has changed a shit ton. A lot. Yeah. Gave you 5, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, love. Oh, would you just look at the matchmaking I was able to get with the Mighty Love. Tier 8 game. This tank can actually face tier 10 vehicles because of uh, the gun. Uh, 234 penetration is tier 10-ish penetration, I guess. And uh, thanks to that, you are able to face tier 10 vehicles as well. So it doesn't have special matchmaking like some of the other tanks uh, do. Uh, but Love, I remember when uh, when I started playing World of Tanks and when, whenever I saw Love against me, I was actually pretty scared because this tank was scary back in the days. It was really, really scary tank. Uh, I had respect for Love, but uh, now with all the other tier 8s that we have in the game, all the buffed tier 8s, old tier 8s, uh, Love is obsolete. Like like KV3, or not KV3, like uh, KV5 is. Like, uh, love has no place in this game anymore. Uh, it had its place in its game anymore. Uh, it was able to face tier 10s, uh, but uh, nowadays we have tier 10 medium decks, we have tier 10 um, uh, destroyers, we have so many strong tier 10 tanks, tier 10 artilleries as well, that this thing, I think it does not belong to to tier 10 games anymore. It is slow, armor, well it has no armor pretty much, and uh, the only good thing about uh, love is the gun. So yeah, there's that, IS-3, I got spotted, that I assume is in super useless position. So yeah, just back up or do something, get the fuck out of here man. Okay, so my hull is hidden. I should be able to pen IS3 to roof. Okay, so let me take a quick look what is behind this hill. Nothing. Okay. Cool, a lot of nothing. So we have to push up. You can see we are losing the other side. Kind of losing. But. I have accurate gun, but it is not working at the moment. Nice. 
nice. 330 damage. Awesome. So Tiger 1 is also in the middle, but I think I have to fight with that IS-3, or do I? Actually, I'm not going to waste time fighting with that IS-3. I believe it is going to take me a lot of time. So, I would like to kill some stuff instead. Like that CDC. And why you are running away from me? This is the question. Accuracy on love is one of the best things about this tank. So let's use it. Let's snipe with it. WC. Comet. OE. Tanks are freaking dying around me. Like there is no tomorrow. Snipe on the way. 274 roll. What a low roll, man. I'm sad. But it seems like we're going to win this game with with ease. With ease. Full HP Tiger 1, though. Yeah. Pretty boring game. And full HP I have 3 as well. To move. Can I see the Tiger 1? Yes, I can, but who the fuck did that much damage? ISU, yeah. I figured. Had to be ISU. Now, where is the IS 3 going to be? This is my next question. Vehicle is destroyed. ISU. 122.44 They have 390 alpha damage Both IS-3 and SU Ooh, one shot at artillery Yeah, yeah Ah, Lev Slow Why are you so slow, man? Tracked So, you can damage uh, IS-3 now Guys, you can do some damage to him. Let's keep him there. Let's keep him tracked. He doesn't have enough gun depression. Okay, he finally used repair kit. Or my second shot simply didn't. Oh, you sneaky bugger. Nice. Track repaired. I... <laughs> Oh, guy tracked me. I actually have uh, uh, that toolbox on my tank, so I am able to repair my track super fast. Why toolbox? Because I didn't have anything else to put on it. Vertical stabs, I don't know, might be useful, but Love is so slow anyway, so your aiming circle is not as huge as on some other tanks. But uh, yeah. Pretty slow start, but uh, the ending was actually quite decent. Top by damage done and top reputation. Uh, I did it again, guys. Too much armored warfare, I guess. Uh, top uh, experience. Yeah. In armored warfare, I say experience, and in World of Tanks, I say reputation. Weird things happening. 77,000 credit profit for 6 minutes in the battle is not bad. Um, 11 shots fire, 10 uh, hits, 10 pens. I missed one shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, that first shot. Uh, against the, the tier 6 destroyer was a miss, which was weird. But usually love, love is actually pretty good. The gun is all this tank has from now on. It doesn't have any armor versus uh, nowadays tanks. It doesn't have uh, speed. The only thing that it has is the gun. 0 0.33 accuracy, really good. Penetration, really good. Average damage really good, I would say, for that kind of reload time, 10 second reload time. Although IS-6 gets uh, 390 alpha damage with the same reload time, but uh, IS-6 has 175 penetration. And it can face only up to tier 9. I think KV-5 had special matchmaking as well, so you can only face uh, tier 9s, no tier 10s, but still 167 penetration. He's not going to cut it. Actually, let me add 
five more previous shots. Or eight more previous shots. Or seven. Seven more. Yeah, I do not need HG. So guys, this was today's episode with good old talks, KV5 and Love. I believe you can still buy Love from the deck tree, from in-game shop. Yes, you can do that. It is going to go to 12,500 gold. And uh, you can't buy KV5. Yeah, you can't buy KV5. Maybe from the premium shop. Not sure. You have to check it out yourself. Uh, yeah, good old jokes. What more to say? I need to ace my KV5. That is 100% sure thing. That I'm going to do next. And I need to train my crew. What the fucking kind of crew members do you have over here? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Take care, stay awesome, and bye.